Hey everybody, Matthew Cook here, founder and CEO of GTC Golf Academy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to be a better pitcher of the ball. Pitch shots is a big part of the game. We all know that a lot of shots are wasted for people uh, when it comes to pitching from either fat duffs or more often than not, I see the opposite. I see people hitting super thin shots and sculling it through the green uh, into the bunker over the green or into the hazard. And then that pitch shot usually costs them more than just one shot. That one pitch shot costs two, three, four, five shots sometimes. And so I'm going to show you today how you can become a better pitcher of the ball by um, a really cool practice exercise that I've got six golf balls here. I'm out on the golf course. I'm on the 17th hole. And, um, you know, there's, I, I think there's maybe a few holes behind me until the group behind me catches up. So I've got enough time. And uh, this is the best place to practice. And I'm only hitting six golf balls. It's not like I'm dropping a bucket of golf balls here. So all we do is, I'll talk to you a little bit through the setup and some fundamentals of motion and setup in just a second, but I'm starting here. I've got two golf balls and then 10 yards away, I've got another two golf balls. 10 yards away, I've got another two golf balls. And I'm hitting one golf ball here. I move closer, I hit one golf ball there. I move closer, I hit one golf ball there. Then I hit the second golf ball, then I work backwards. So I get start furthest away, I get closer, and then I work back out. So that way, at least the shots that I'm hitting, they're different. So there's some variety, there's, so, there's some variability within the shots that I'm hitting. So I have to constantly adjust the length of my swing because that ultimately is what controls distance, is the length in which we're moving our swing. So for this one, well, for all of them, actually, the setup is very similar. Uh, the furthest one away I'm going to be standing the widest but because it's a pitch shot it's still pretty narrow stance the handle is going to be high still because it's it's inside 60 yards it's about maybe 50 total 50 yards to the flag from here so the handle is going to be high because I want that toe down that's going to help me with contact I'm going to distribute about 55% of my weight on my left side and from there I'm just going to use the turning motion of my body to hit the shot Almost the, the, the club, the hands, the arms, and the torso are almost working together as one. And that will that'll give me a much shallower angle of attack. And that's what we want for pitches, especially from 75 yards and in. We want a shallow angle of attack. We don't want to be taking big divots. Now that's one of my issues when I play. I actually take too big of a divot with the pitch shots. I need to shallow that out. And that's because my hands and my arms get away from me. So I've actually got to keep the connection more between my arms and my torso and use the turning motion of my body more. And that'll get a nice shallow angle of attack from me. It'll, it'll certainly be influential. So, really good practice exercise here. Not bad, really good strike. I got the turning motion well. Landed a little too short, so I've maybe got about a 15 foot putt. Uh, not bad, but now from here I move to the closer ball. And that just forces me to have to think about the shot. I have to think about, okay, how am I going to adjust the length of my swing to match this new shot? So each time I'm giving myself a different situation, it's just better practice. The learning is in the thinking. So we have to be thinking, we have to be conscious of what we're doing and always making these adjustments. We can't just stay in one place and hit 50 golf balls, get into a groove and expect to get better. So now I'm a little closer, so my stance gets a little narrower, but everything else is pretty much the same and I just got to adjust the length of my swing. The last shot's given me some good information, some good feedback for me to adjust myself for this particular shot. And this lies a little different too, so that's also a very good practice. Not a big enough swing again, I've maybe got, looks like I've got about 16 feet there. So now from here, I move to the closer shot. And at, in, in situations like this, it may be a good thing to the club. Now, I, if I didn't have to walk all the way back to the cart, <laughs> I'd, um, I'd change club. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to right now. All I'm going to do is see if I can hit this a little bit harder. So, what I've found so far, what I've learned myself, is that I'm just not making a long enough swing. My perception of these distances is a little off. So I've got to adjust the length. I'm hitting the ball pretty good, but just not quite getting the right length. 
and that was a bit better much better I'd take that now at this at this stage I stay on this one I hit the second ball and then I'm gonna work back outwards so I'm almost coming down a ladder and then going back up that one's probably gonna be closer might go in Oof. now I work back back out and every one of the shots that I've hit is just giving me more and more information more and more feedback to make adjustments and to keep me uh, cognitively engaged it's keeping me active in the, the whole part of thinking and like I said a minute ago thinking is where the learning that so then I know that my perception has been a little off I've been making two swings that have been too small then I adjust actually execute quite a nice shot I didn't strike it but it's still closer than the other ones now I'm back to where I was at, at the beginning the furthest out and now I'm trying to trying to collect my thoughts on everything that's happened so far and what I did on this shot last time and I hit it all right I just didn't hit it far enough so I'm going to make an adjustment try to make a bigger swing So I, I, I made a slightly bigger swing, but I didn't make it big enough. It landed maybe a few feet in front of the, the original shot that I hit from here, the very first one. So it is closer, it is better. And are all them shots amazing? No, they're not, but they're all pretty good. And the, the best thing about what I just did is the way I practiced it. Now what I just did is more likely to stick and help me get better and perform better on future holes rather than hitting a rather than hitting 50 balls from the same place and getting this false sense of confidence what i just did is much more representative of how i actually play so it really pushes me to get better that's how you can practice those pitch shots um i'll be i'll, I'll be doing a lot more in the short game area but um there's a great practice drill try it yourself tell me how you do uh share it with people give me some comments give me some feedback and i'll see you in another video